Today I am going to do a quick video on what is in my gym bag. Well, actually, it's like not even my gym bag. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video on what is in my pole slash dance slash studio bag. <laughs> So I have been attending the studio, I wanna say for about four and a half solid months now. And I kind of feel like I've got a hang of what I keep inside of my studio bag. And so I thought, why not make a video and share it, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. In case anybody wants to know, it's just an Under Armour bag. But I think what sold me on this the most was the fact that it has a little side thing for your shoes. So I have uh, a pair of my pleaser sandals in here and that's the whole. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video for that, I will put the link somewhere in one of these corners. <laughs> and then in my front, very, very, the very, very front pocket, I have just two things. I have a thing of hand sanitizer and a container of dry hands. Usually in this front pocket, once I get to the studio, I put like my keys, my wallet, my wedding ring or whatever, right up in the front, because it's easily accessible. Inside of my bag, in the front pocket, when you open it. So inside of here, I have just a few things. So one, I have my pirouette socks. Easily accessible in here, breathable little pocket. Um, I also have a mask in here, but Fortunately for us, Canada hasn't, um, they dropped the mask mandates, but it's always here just in case. Rep at my university. I've got a hair tie because I have long hair. We need emergency hair ties. <laughs> uh, this is just the bag that my pirouette socks came in. I don't think I need it, but I feel like it's always good to have like a little bag like this for anything, right? Like dirty socks, a change of underwear, or maybe like, I don't know, anything really. So I think I'm gonna keep that in there. <laughs> and then I have a little uh, Ziploc bag of wipes. Gotta have my wipes. And then I have this little bag here. It's like a really old, old, old bag that I've had for like years. Um, but I went ahead and put in some extra pads and panty liners in here because you never know, man. You never know. There was one time, oh my God, story, mini story time. I was in one of my choreo classes and I was like, yeah, feeling it, love it. And we're doing like this older, like 60s, 50s kind of speakeasy kind of dance. So I was like really getting into it and I loved it. And then I drove all the way home, got home and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go to the restroom. And then just like, it was the Red Sea. And I was like, I was dancing. Like it might, I, I feel like I knew when it happened too, like mid dance and I was like, Nah, nah, no, it can't be. No, 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 just keep going. Um, so that occasion is what inspired this bag. <laughs> okay, next in the much bigger pocket, I have a couple of things. So one, I have another pair of dancing shoes. Oh my God, they're all tangled. These are from the brand Capizio. Capizio, that's how I'm gonna say it. What prompted me to get these shoes is that sometimes our choreographed dances aren't worthy of the pleasers. Um, they're very like, you know, either fast paced or a little bit more like movement with your feet and stuff. So these are specifically like, um, salsa like ballroom dance shoes so they have the suede on the bottom so you have a lot of bit more grip there is flexibility within the shoe so i actually really love these i'm probably gonna get like a little bag for them i think i have a bag for them hold on remember when i said remember when i said i was trying to find a bag for these you know when you buy brand new blankets like at the store walmart blah blah or wherever the fuck you buy blankets and they have like a paper and it's like queen size or twin sized or, and then you take this off and your blankets are in there. Okay, this is what that is. <laughs> hey, upcycle, right? So I think, if I'm correct, I think these should be able to fit in there like just like this. I don't know, 
I dropped a shoe cover. <laughs> I never took the stickers off of this and I already used them like once. <laughs> and then in my last video in the pleasers, I'm like complaining about how other people are like. Yeah, but he takes off the sticker. I'm that person. Hey, look at that shit. Fits. It's like perfect. Look at that. Now they're not all like being thrown around. Yeah, they're not being thrown around anymore. They're they're all nice and cute. Shh. We'll we'll dance again soon. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm worried, y'all. I'm worried. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see what else I have. I was looking for these and I had it didn't occur to me that they were in here. So weird. Yeah, that's those are the shoes that I wear to the studio. So anyways. No, I forgot to wash these. Old dirty clothes. That's what I have in my bag. Some shoes that have gone missing and some old dirty clothes. I feel so great. Aside from that, I have a bunch of um what are these? What are these things called? Elastics, elastic bands, stretching bands. I forgot, but I have a couple of these. Our studio does provide them for us, but um, I'm, I'm just, I'm straight up, I'm honest. I am too lazy to like wipe everything. I wipe it down, but for me personally, I'm too lazy to always just like wipe it down, wipe it. Is it clean? Is it clean enough? Is this okay? Is it sanitized? I'm like, I'm just gonna get my own shit. I'm gonna use it. And then when I'm done, just, throw it away into my bag, I'm good. But, oh my God, dude, this, ever since I've been going to flexibility class, that's the fucking stuff right there. Oh, I needed that, dude. Oh, I was gonna work out today, but you know what? Mm, let's do some flexibility. Oh, we'll do some flexibility today. Cause my contract is renewing, so I can't, I mean, I can go to the studio and pay out of pocket, but my contract isn't restarting until the 20th, which is like two days from now, which seems like forever. I like being at the studio. I like seeing my girls. I like dancing. I like doing all of that stuff. So a couple of days without classes seems like a lot, especially when you're on a routine going five times a week and stuff. Like, what do I do with myself? <laughs> it's coming. It's close. It's close. And I can't wait to start scheduling for classes. But yeah, I have two of these just because one's a different resistant than the other. Um, I haven't even gotten to this one yet. I'm always doing this one. So maybe I can move up to these. Get some flexibility in those ankles, you know? And then um, I also have these because um, I had one instructor. She's not there anymore though, she left. I would do her conditioning classes and she would put these like around her thighs, but it wasn't these, it was these that they have in class and then you gotta put them around your thigh and then like, you know, tighten it and then make sure it's like tight enough around your thighs and stuff. So I had these just lying around at home and I'm like, you know what, let me just take it to class and see one day and I tried it and it was actually really cool. It just, I got, I'm, I don't know, I'm soft, dude. I'm like really soft, so. Having this stuff tied around my thighs and stuff hurts. Oh yeah, before I go, before I go, I always have my Brita water bottle in my bag too. Literally, bro, it keeps my water so fucking fresh. I have an ice tray, which um, freezes ice cubes and like long skinny like sticks. And they're meant so you can put them in water bottles. I put all of those little ice cubes in here and they like form perfectly like right around that center thing. I'm telling you, when you're taking like two classes back to back, there's enough ice in there to keep your water cold for those two full classes. And I'm, I promise you, bro, I promise you, bro, if you ain't going to class with your Brita filled up with ice, I don't know what you're doing, girl, because that studio gets hot when you're moving. So that's my, that's my last tip. Sorry, <laughs> I just, I was about to end the video and then I got up and I saw the water bottle and I was like, holy shit, I gotta stay hydrated, homies. <laughs> Bye. I'm so mad at myself because I'm already like editing the video and everything and I completely forgot to mention that I also have knee pads in my bag, but I washed them so they weren't in my bag. And then I also keep an extra spare of pants because sometimes choreo requires 
both of those things. Maybe some gold, a little glitter, a new Bugatti. So sad you can't buy me with money. She don't want no diamond rings, no shiny things. The money is flowing, but you never know in a world with greater things.